And I said, I don't want to hate people. They make me hate them. <laughs> I start out loving everybody. It's what you do that causes me to hate you. <laughs> I'm a victim. <laughs> I'm a victim. I'll give you an example. I had a car accident, I'm okay. Young kid, stoned out of his mind, on his cell phone, music blaring, looked a lot like you. <laughs> he barrels into the back of my car, gets out of the car, comes up to me, he's like, dude, I don't know what happened, dude. I go, oh, what happened is your mother forgot her birth control in 1997. <laughs> Dude, I didn't want to say that. He made me say it. I was a victim. I was victimized. How about this? On the airplane coming here, the woman in the seat behind me gets up and starts spritzing cinnamon. She sp I, go, I go, lady, what are you doing? She goes, well, it's natural. I go, yes, yeah, so is my butt, but I'm not putting it in your face. Hate her. She made me hate her. I was a victim. I had to call the Department of Vital Statistics in New York City, and I said to the man on the other end of the phone, I said, Sir, I need a copy of a death certificate. He said, Is it for you? No. I said, Yes, I, I plan ahead. I like planning ahead. That's, that's what I do. I'm dead on the inside. Does that count? <laughs> Can my ghost pick it up on Wednesday? <laughs> I spent a lot of time in San Francisco, and there's really good people there. Uh, environmentalists, if they find a turtle with a tumor, they will reroute an entire freeway. <laughs> healthy, healthy. My friend made me a veggie burger. She says, Maureen, it has corn and beans. It needs a little something else. I go, it needs beef. That's what that needs. <laughs> that needs beef. <laughs> Lamb, veal. Give me something in that. <laughs> Sometimes too politically correct. Sometimes. I did, a, um, I did my solo show, Daughter of a Garbage Man. And it is about my father and being raised in a working class family. And in the show, I say that my father is a blend of Archie Bunker, Fred Sanford, and Marlon Brando, the early years, not the fat years. <laughs> this middle-aged woman comes up to me after the show and says, I'm offended that you used the word fat. I used to have eating issues. Well, who didn't? Get in line. <laughs> And my therapist says, I need to confront things that trigger me. <laughs> I, and you picked me? You picked me. You've known me an hour and I'm the problem, really? I think you should confront cake and cookies. That's what you should confront. <laughs> How did I become a part of your nightmare? I didn't want to hate her. She made me hate her. You see, I was a victim. <laughs> I got a call from Caroline's on Broadway in New York City, and Caroline said to me, Maureen, I'm doing a private event. I want five women on the bill. I'd like you to be one of them. I said, oh, goodness gracious me, I would love that. And she said, but there's one caveat, one condition. She said, um, <laughs> you have to talk about menopause. But I don't, I mean, I talk about men don't pause when you hit a certain age, but, <laughs> but I, I just don't identify, I don't have symptoms. She said, it pays $5,000. I said, oh my goodness, I just got a hot flash. Like, I can't, I can't stop sweating. I can't stop sweating. So I have to go to get the makeup at the Bloomingdale's, and as I head to the counter, this young, hopeful, dewy thing, looks at me aghast and said, oh, 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 you have mature skin. <laughs> As if it's contagious. <laughs> and it is, she'll catch it in 20 years. <laughs> 
you have to go over there to the mature skin counter, like way over there, way, like past your prime, keep going. Put on, you'll see bitterness, regret, rage, keep on going, keep going until you see the diuretics, the dry eye, and the adult depends dignity diapers. When you get to the adult depends dignity diapers, you're in the right place. And my doctor says, well, Maureen, at your age, you may need them because you could get sudden bladder leakage. And I said, when? And she said, suddenly. <laughs> I don't know, sir. I don't know if tonight's the night. I don't know. I have no idea. Get some galoshes. I don't know what to tell. I'm sorry. <laughs> All I know is I'm getting Botox. Because if I'm going to pee on myself, at least I'll look pretty. 